for Amanda and Steffi. Well, it's hard to tackle subjects that I never dreamt would happen to me. But this is advanced multiple cirrhosis and I wish I was more imaginative. I've got tremendous difficulty to speak at the moment, so I have to bear with me. I'm going to articulate very rhythmically and we'll get through it. My breathing difficulties are due, according to my heart specialist, to neurological problems. And according to my neurologist, due to heart problems. So these experts don't really have a clue. For me, it's more likely to be a circulatory problem. The cellist, Jacqueline Dupré, used to pump the flagging energy around her body with ex exaggerated way of playing, which of course was delightful for the audience, but made me suspicious of a hydraulic style difficulty. We're not in the Garden of Versailles, as Descartes was watching the hydromechanical statues move about, trying to find new models for the flow of thought, or sometimes something new, like Dr. Zamboni's conclusions. But I think they're indicated. I was thinking of stenosis, the narrowing of the veins for some time, and the swank diet and Kuzmin's all rich diet have been barking up the same tree, furred up pipes, as my mother used to say. So, exercise has to be very delicate these days. I've had too many attacks due to too much exercise and too much cholesterol, of course. But they taught me at the Prince of Wales Hospital in Sydney to do a lot of exercise. And both under the supervision of kinesiotherapists now. But even they don't have a clue. Like me, I've been conditioned by years and years of gastral practice to go through the pain barrier. So now I've ordered a cheap Kettler foot pedal machine to keep my heart going. Due to the weakness in my spine, I no longer use the electric stepper I used to do for a while. I could still walk, though it takes me 50 minutes to get out of a wheelchair to the toilet. And sometimes there is an unholy mess, which is very difficult to clear up. But this is my advanced MS. And of course, everyone else will have different experiences. So I can't help, only share. And this is all very basic stuff that we all should have left at three years old. But if I watch my cholesterol and go to my acupuncturist every month, a lot of the phantom planes are blown away like cobwebs. Best of luck.